Hello, dear students. I am Mr. Chetan Digambar Pawar, working as an assistant professor and head department of botany at Kukli Education Society's Arts, Commerce and Science College, Jawar. Students, today's topic of our presentation is the anomalous secondary growth in Salvadora stem. This topic has been included in the Mumbai University's TYBSC Botany Paper 2nd that is Plant Diversity 4 in Unit 3 Anatomy. Before going in details of anomalous secondary growth in Salvadora stem, we will have a background information on the anomalous secondary growth which we have already discussed in our last presentation. The anomalous secondary growth, it is a, any deviation or change in the normal secondary growth. This anomalous secondary growth can be mainly due to the three reasons. The first one is that the normal cambium but it has the unusual activity. While the second reason is the abnormal position of the cambium. While the third reason can be the abnormal cambium which is developing either from the cortex or pericycle or the normal cambium soon gets replaced by the another cambium with abnormal activity. These three reasons they can lead to the abnormal or anomalous secondary growth. The anomalous secondary growth can further classified into the two types based on whether the anomalous secondary growth it has a, any beneficial effect on the adaptation and it can be classified into the two types the adaptive type of secondary growth and secondary and the second one is the non adaptive type of secondary growth the anomalous secondary growth in salvadora stem we all know that the Salvadora it is a halophyte which belongs to the family Salvadoraceae. Halophyte these are the plants which mainly survive in the habitats which are of saline type that means the high salt concentration. The anomalous secondary growth in Salvadora it is due to the abnormal behavior of the cambium during the latter stages. The young stem of the Salvadora shows the normal primary growth with conjoined collateral and open type of vascular bundles. Conjoined means when the xylem and phloem both are included within a same bundle. Then collateral means when both xylem and phloem they are placed laterally or side by side and open type that means the vascular bundles they are having the presence of cambium that means it is open for the secondary growth. Hence in young stem the vascular bundles in Salvadora are conjoined, collateral and open type. During the secondary growth the fascicular and interfascular cambium fuse to form a complete ring of cambium in a normal way. Also, this secondary cambium, uh, cambium ring, it shows the normal activity in initial stages. That means the secondary xylem, it is produced intracambially in a large amount by secondary cambium, while the secondary phloem, it is produced extracambially in comparatively small amount. After some time, the small strips of cambium they start to behave abnormally and these strips they start to produce the secondary phloem instead of secondary xylem intracambially for some time and then they revert back to the normal activity to produce the secondary xylem. Such an activity it is repeated several times in the Salvadora stem. As a result of this the, sec the patches of secondary phloem they become embedded in the secondary xylem. In this diagram 
in this diagram you can see that there is the presence of these patches of the secondary phloem which become embedded in the secondary xylem these patches or these patches of secondary phloem they are called as a included or interxylary phloem that means due to the abnormal activity of cambium the instead of formation of secondary xylem towards the intra, towards the intracambially the cambium produces the secondary phloem and this secondary phloem it becomes embedded in the secondary xylem which is called as the included or interxylary phloem here i will magnify the diagram and here you can see these are the patches of the interxylary phloem it is labeled over here these are called as the interxylary phloem in this second diagram you can see these are the secondary phloem patches which are produced in the secondary xylem which is called as the interxylary phloem while the secondary xylem while the secondary phloem it is produced towards the outer side of the cambium here you can see this is the cambium this is the cambium and towards the outer side of the cambium the secondary phloem it is produced in a normal way okay in mature stem the cortex is differentiated into the outer chlorenchyma and inner parenchyma tus with patches of sclerenchyma again in this diagram you can see there is the this is the outer this is the outer chlorenchyma and it is towards the inner side of this there is the parenchyma tus parenchyma tus parenchyma with the patches of sclerenchyma then the important features of the salvadora stem in this salvadora stem the cambium is normal it is a normal in its origin and the small strip of the cambium they produce the secondary phloem intracambially for some time then the third important feature is that the development of included or interxylary phloem takes place then the fourth important feature is that the normal secondary phloem it appears as a continuous ring outside the cambium then the fifth important feature is that the cambium shows the anomalous activity during the later stages and the anomalous activity in the salvadora stem it is of non adaptive type thank you